Wow, I sure would like to join a live stream one day. Well, I have great news. If you come on over to twitch.tv slash Jarvis Johnson, that's my name, you can watch uh, the streams when they happen live. So um, if you want to keep up with the shenanigans that are going on around these parts, twitch.tv slash Jarvis Johnson. You know what? We'll do Moment of Truth episode five. It's the famous one. I probably won't have very much to say for this one because it's what hasn't been said about this episode. But I'll be right back. You know what's sad is that I can only order six cream puffs. Like, that was the minimum number of cream puffs I could have. So, like, and now I can't give the chat cream puffs, even though I have extra cream puffs. Welcome to a special Monday night edition of the Moment of Truth. This episode was so controversial, it sparked a long debate as to whether or not to air it at all. Quite honestly, if I had my vote, it would not air. It is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television, asking these questions and listening to the answers that were given. But in the end, it was decided that this episode should air. I will tell because you, however, they that, want money. that the truth is often not pretty. So here it is. This is the moment of truth. Oh, right. I want to watch Unsolved Mysteries. Maybe we can watch it after this. All right, well, we've got our work cut out for us. Tonight, the controversial episode you weren't supposed to see. Housewife. They really are playing this up. Like, I fully believe now that this is, like, they just play this up as their angle. Like, you weren't supposed to see this. Lauren Cleary will say anything in her attempt to win $500,000. Do you know? The cream puff hit. Let me say that. So, Renee asked if the cream puff hit. The other thing is that I got a jalapeno cheddar bagel, um, and it is now toasting, and uh, it also hits. So I'm going to – I'll be right back. Hot. Hot. Things about your father. Bagel. You keep secret from your mother. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Uh, Participants have undergone a rigorous polygraph exam. They don't know the results of that test, but if they tell the truth, they can win up to a half a million dollars. And if they feel they may not have been truthful during the polygraph test, they can change their answers tonight. Well, let's meet our first participant. Lauren Cleary is a 26-year-old hair salon assistant from Piermont, New York. She is the oldest of three children. She is married to a New York City police officer. She was asked over 50 questions by a polygraph examiner. 21 have been chosen for tonight. Oh, I didn't know the dude was Lauren a Cleary, police officer. this is your moment of truth. <laughs> Our polygraphs even really nice no. to have you here, Lauren. Nice to be here. How are you feeling right now? But they're good Great. for TV. I guess that would be a good thing to be. I know you're probably a little in nervous. In Rivera video. You think you're going to be able to tell the truth in front of all of America tonight? I hope so. I hope so, too. <laughs> Lauren, as you know, there are six levels of questions. Jalapeno bagel, indeed. The further you go, the harder the questions get, and the more money you can win. You can quit at any time, Lauren. Take the money. But once you hear a question, you have to answer that question. And remember, if you're caught lying even one time, Lose everything and the game is over. Got it. Lauren, you're not only here telling the truth in front of all of America, you brought family and friends to support you as well. Let's meet him right now. Who's here? I'm Frank, Lauren's husband. Hello, Frank. Hello. I'm Jay, uh, Lauren's father. I'm Kim, Lauren's mother. Hi, I'm Monica, Lauren's sister. And I'm Tim, Lauren's brother. Welcome to all of you. And I'm Cole. I'm glad to have you here. You know that these questions range from sometimes the silly to the very personal. Are you ready for this? Sure. Ready. I'm ready. Okay, I hope that you are. Lauren, are you ready? I'm ready. I am too. Let's begin. Okay, Lauren, we start with level one, and it has six questions. All you have to do is answer all six truthfully. You win $10,000, and that's a good start, isn't it? Got it. Remember, if you're ever concerned about the answers you gave on your polygraph exam, you can change them if you want tonight. Okay? What do you do for a living? I am an assistant manager at a salon. Question one. As an employee of a hair salon, have you ever told a customer you liked their hairstyle when, in fact, you did? Well... Who would do no, that? No, I have never. That answer is... 
true. So far, so good. That's one truthful answer. One. Five more, $10,000. What do you like to do for fun, Lauren? I'm pretty much, I don't, I don't know everything and anything. I'm, I'm up for anything. Question two. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? <laughs> yeah, the applause is mixed really badly. Just for laughs? Like, that's such a funny... That's just such a funny thing to me. Frank, you think she's ever flashed a stranger? You know her. <laughs> I've flashed strangers, so I'm sure she's flashed strangers. <laughs> so, I think, uh, yeah, I think she That has. wouldn't surprise you, huh? Not at all. No. Well, let's go to you. It's your moment of truth. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for... Who are these, who are these people? <laughs> just flashing everybody? Laughs. I'm going to have to say yes, Mark. I have. <laughs> that answer is true. That's too truthful. Four more to ten thousand uh, dollars. I understand you used to work as a veterinary assistant. Yes. You like animals? Love animals. I guess that would be important there, huh? Oh yeah. Question three, would you give food to a stray dog before you would give it to a homeless person? See, this is one where I'm like, even if it's premeditated and fake, there's nothing that excuses it. You know what I mean? Well, I would have to say I'd rather give food to a dog rather than a homeless person. So your answer would be? Yes? Yes. That's, that's that smart. That answer is true. It's just funny how that's like question two or something. It has three truths for three more $10,000. And one of the things I find so interesting about this program is that you'll answer something like that and invariably the audience will applaud. That's right. Don't give food to homeless. Give it to the dog. They just look at you with the cute puppy faces, they and then you have somebody who's got a really nasty, dirty face. It's like, hmm. Wait. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what? Uh, excuse? Somehow I don't feel better now that you've cleared it up there, Laura. <laughs> like, I'm not even concerned about the answers or the questions. It's just, like, how she... The c color commentary she gives on the questions. Got your brother and your sister here. Are you too close to Lauren? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Lauren, you would say you're close to your brother and sister? Not as close as I would like us to be, but we're close. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Question four. Have you ever derived pleasure when one of your siblings has gotten into trouble? In, in what universe do you ask that question after the previous question? Was yeah. 2008 that depraved? Look, you guys really are. Yeah, well... The answer is yes. Me. Um... Yes, I have. <laughs> I have. That answer is... True. Um, you know when you have, like, a... Some sort of pepper? Like, I had a jalapeno... This jalapeno bagel or whatever. And then you drink a hot beverage afterward. It's, like, extra hot, but in a weird way. That's four truthful answers, two more, $10,000. Family and friends, we're thrilled that you're here, but you're not just here to listen because as we've already seen, the questions can have things to do with you. I think I need another cream puff for this. You, you do have a little bit of control. You see that button in front of you there. If at any time you hear a question you don't want to hear the answer, hit the button, we'll take that question out, replace it with a new question. You can only use it once though, okay? Yes. You want to try it once, Frank? Why not? Two more questions, you get $10,000, Lauren. So far, the questions have been fun, but not too hard. Not too hard. Would you say you're a trustworthy person? I think so. Yeah? Yes. People can count on you? I think so. Question five. Have you ever been fired from a job for stealing money? Well, OK. Are you waiting for them to hit the button? No, 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 not waiting at all. You're OK um, with it. I'm okay with this. I'm 
okay with this. I've come to terms with the deafness. So, uh, yes, I have gotten fired from the job. That answer is true. Okay. That's five, Lauren. One more truthful question, $10,000. Want to tell me about the time that you have fired? I don't particularly like to talk about it. So what's in the past is in the past. So I like to, I've moved on a completely different person now, so. I'd rather talk about how dirty and unlikable homeless people are and how much I'd rather give dogs food than them. Anyway, you are I hope to some degree you have since your husband is a police officer. So what do you think about this, Frank? Well, I, I arrested her, and so by me arresting her is me marrying her. So I am, she's in my prison. You are quite the romantic. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, what the hell did he just say? Did he just say, I, <laughs> sorry. I arrested her, and by arresting her, I put her in my prison? I'm gonna rewind. Police officer. So, what do you think about this, Frank? Well, I, I arrested her, and so by me arresting her is me marrying her. So, I am, she's in my prison. You are quite the romantic, Frank. <laughs> no, I don't sound like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've only just begun to scratch the surface. Oh. That was already a pretty deep question. That was only question five on your way through. For those keeping track of my uh, jalapeno saga, uh, now that I ate the cream puff, I, it's, it's easier to drink the tea. 21 of these I questions. Know. The reason I bring that up is that you've answered five questions. You haven't won anything. You're one question away from $10,000. Yes. You can stop at any time. What do you want me to ask you the sixth question? Bring it on, Mark. Lauren Cleary, this is your $10,000 moment of truth. Question six. If you knew you wouldn't get caught, would you steal money from your place of employment? Like from the hair salon? Maybe if you worked at Amazon or something like that. But like, if it's just like a hair salon. Oh my goodness. Not um, a tricky to answer given what you've just shared, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much, because it will kind of contradict itself. <laughs> uh, I am going to have to say... Or it's, and, and she used to be a veterinary assistant, and so I'm also like, don't steal from the veterinary clinic. No, I would not. Okay. That answer is... Something we'll find out right after this break. We'll find out what more... Well, uh, sexual relations with someone other than your husband. I'm here with Lauren Eddy. I asked you if you knew you wouldn't get caught, would you steal money from your place of employment? Your answer was no, no you would not. Before we find out if that's a lie or if it's the truth, Frank, you <laughs> believe. Uh, I do. I, I do not think she would again. Definitely not. Let's find out. I'm now I know she said you didn't want to share, but I'm like, what is this situation? Because all the things she will share about are so concerning. <laughs> so I'm like, what won't she share about? That answer is... True. Congratulations. You won, yeah. honestly and legally, $10,000. the first level you have ten thousand dollars that is your money to keep lauren if you walk away right now if you don't walk away it's at risk every time i ask a new question to get to the top of level two you'll win twenty five thousand dollars you have to answer five questions to get there but you can stop at any time you want to go on what do you guys think <laughs> all the way Someone said, I thought we watched this before. No, this episode has been watched by every YouTuber. So that's probably why you think you've seen it before. I actually didn't even watch this six months ago when I was watching through every uh, every episode of Moment of Truth because it had already just been done to death. Let's go. Then we shall go on. 
Would you consider yourself more of a morning person or a night owl? Uh, definitely a night owl. So you like definitely. to stay up late? Yes, yep. I hate waking up early in the morning. I hate it. <laughs> Question seven. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? What do you think I mean, he who has it? Who hasn't? <laughs> yes. answer. We'll see. So, all right. Well, the question's on you, Lauren. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? Pretended to be asleep, pretended to have a headache, so yes. <laughs> that answer is, I mean, true. Yeah, it's like maybe Frank should just take no for an answer or, you know, that so that's what someone in the chat said for the record. Or, you know, it's like we don't know their relationship. Maybe this is, you know, a communication thing for them. I don't know. I don't know. Not my place. Not my place. Seven truthful answers. But for those watching in chat who may be in a similar situation, uh, you know, communicate the I think the best case scenario is being able feeling comfortable openly communicating with your partner. Um because if they are going to pressure you into something uh, that you don't want to do um, or don't take no for an answer, that's a red flag. And uh, uh, you deserve someone who will honor and respect your boundaries and desires. And also, please get away from a person who's pressuring you into, into stuff. No good, no good, no good. Consent is key. On your way to the next level, $25,000. Congratulations. You have a lot of friends? Um, used to. Not so much anymore. Question eight. Do you blame your husband for your lack of close friends? Oh. Yes, I do. That answer is... Like, so, they... So this is a big oof, right? And my brain is being torn apart <laughs> because... They, they, you know, everybody wants to talk about how the show is fake, they're actors, blah, 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 blah. They're not actors, but uh, those, like, the, apparently, the, uh, com the, this couple had discussed beforehand what the questions were going to be or what they were going to, like, be discussing. So everybody was like, oh, poor Frank during the, um, everybody was like, oh, poor Frank when they didn't know that like any context, but then like there were later interviews that came out that said like, no, Frank actually knew about the stuff that was going on. So with all that being said, these questions are still alarming. You know what I mean? Like it's, I feel like it's still very much a concerning relationship question. If you feel like you blame your significant other, um, for your lack of friends, that's so sad. That is so sad. What do you mean he knew? I don't want to spoil the episode. I don't want to spoil the episode like with what actually transpires. So we can look up the articles afterward. True. That's number eight. Three more, I give you $25,000, but each time you risk your $10,000. Lauren, that, that's gotta be tough to move with your husband to a new place and leave all of your friends. It is. Very difficult. How do you guys deal with that? Take each day as it comes, right? Yeah, each day as it comes. I'm getting there. How long have you two been married? Two years. You're really starting out. Yeah. Would yeah. you say your family is very supportive of you? I think so. so. Question nine. Yeah. Would you ever be a surrogate mother for your sister if she were unable to have children? These are so specific. This is such a specific question. Um, yes, I would be. That answer is... True. Wow. It's, like, such a targeted question that I'm like, where did this even come from? Because you know they, like, they talk to family and friends in order to ask the questions to begin with, you know? So how did that even come up? Who brought that up? That's your ninth truthful answer. 
You know, this is a tough question because that's, that's sort of like, would you donate an organ or something like that? And, and the answer that we're accustomed to say is the right answer, which is sure, I would do that. But would you truly do that? And she just proved that she truly would do that for you. It's really nice. I've never heard of that from her mouth before. <laughs> We've talked about how close you are with your brother and your sister. I know now how committed you are to your sister, if she were to need it. Would you say you're close to mom and dad? Pretty close. Again, not as close as I would like to be, but. You aware of that? Um, I love her unconditionally. <laughs> Dude, this family is so like, um, it's like uh, like media training when when like you see like people interviewed or politicians where they're like not answering a question that they're asked directly. They just answer with like another answer that doesn't directly hit on it. Again, not as close as I would like to be, but. You aware of that? Um, I love her unconditionally. Um, question 10. Do you think your parents are proud of you? This is one of those questions that looks easy. Yeah. But you and I both know how hard that can be. Yeah. It's like also when you're asked that, it, it's some of these questions feel like they would be hard to even, you have to think sometimes to like know the answer. You know, not this question in particular, but some, some of them uh, are like hypotheticals and stuff where you're like, all right, like would I do this thing? Um, the truth, Lauren. Yeah, this is, this is a tough one. <laughs> Oh. Don't answer yet. We'll be right back right after this. I guess if Mom and Dad, are you proud of her? We've had this discussion. That's another that's that's another like one of those answers. Are you proud of her? We've discussed this. But then, it's just wait. Just Welcome wait. back to the moment of truth. Before the break, I asked you this question. Do you think your parents are proud of you? Mom and Dad, are you proud of her? We've had this discussion. Don't, don't, like, think you know where this goes quite yet. I know a lot of people are like, wow, what a shitty dad, blah, blah, blah. Do you think your parents are proud of you, yes or no? No, I don't think my parents are proud of me. That answer is... True. <laughs> Mom and Dad, are you proud of her? She doesn't have anything to make me proud of her. So the audio is a little whack here, but he says she doesn't have to do anything to make me proud of her. Mom and Dad. So he's saying he's saying I support her unconditionally is what he's saying. Are you proud of her? She doesn't have anything. But like the mic cuts out or something, and it sounds so like that's why I needed I felt like I needed to back this up because the first time you hear this, it sounds wrong. Mom and Dad, are you proud of her? She doesn't have anything to make me proud of her. I and that's why yeah he said I, I love her unconditionally i do not know why he's answering like this i do not know i do not know okay here's what we and that's why the audience clapped when he said that too you've answered 10 questions too. if you can answer question 11 <laughs> i'd prefer a yes or no dad yeah exactly truthfully you won twenty-five thousand dollars and the right to keep going all the way up to half a million dollars Given how emotional you feel right now and how difficult this is already, there's no shame in walking out of here with $10,000, even with only one question left. So, Lauren. Also, I feel the need to give another disclaimer for YouTube commenters. Uh, I think you'll notice people in the chat judging, uh, making judgments and, and wild guesses about random characters that they're just seeing on the screen for the first time. And uh, I mean, that's just how chat is. It's, it's, it's just fun for them. Okay, they're try. I'm trying to get them on their best behavior. They, they're just little judgmental goblins. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I mean, it's, 
uh, I I think that people are just doing the thing like where if you're watching at home with friends, you you say stuff that you like don't you're not. All I'm saying is that uh, the Twitch chat is going to Twitch chat, and that's you know there's over a thousand people here. Um, that that kind of stuff that kind of stuff happens, but um, I'll I'll I'll, I'll make sure to remind them to be in line from time to time. Uh, but but they're they're all having fun. I don't think anybody means any uh, any ill will. It really is a moment of truth. Are we gonna stop now, or do you want this question? Go, Lauren. You're doing great. I want the question. Go. Jarvis, we can hear you. This is your twenty-five thousand dollar moment of truth. Yeah, most of chat is sarcastic. Question eleven. Do you know things about your father that you keep secret from your mother? Yes, I do. That answer is. See, that feels that feels acted. That feels acted. You know what I mean? Like it looks like they've discussed it before, and they're just doing a little. Like I assume that they the the secret. I mean, yeah, maybe it's like, okay, we'll talk about this after. True. We've had this yeah. discussion. Yeah. He's like, y keep my secrets, young one. That was a weird move. That was a very weird move. But it felt planned. It felt planned. You want twenty-five thousand dollars? How does that feel? Feels good. Feels good. Twenty-five thousand. Like if 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 I if Dad did that and I'm Mom, I'd be like, "Excuse me." Dollars is yours. Yeah. We will talk about what you do next in our game, but I'm interested to know why you ran out of your seat and hugged her. Is it that she won the money or that she's keeping the secret? <laughs> <laughs> I'm already in trouble. I don't know. Coach. I don't know. A little bit of both. We'll huh? talk later. I didn't think he was going to come over here and hug me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get the feeling that this is something you guys are going to He's like, because I didn't raise no snitch. I think she wants to know. <laughs> yeah, <I think> so. <laughs> Anything you want to say, Mom? We'll talk later. <laughs> you have $25,000. That much we know is true. Lauren? These questions that have hit so to close to home that they've had you teary are not even close to as personal as they're going to get. I know. The next level is four questions. If you can be truthful through those four questions, you will win $100,000. But if you lie, you lose the $25,000 you've already earned. So my question is, what are you going to do? Do you want to continue, or are we going to stop here? We will find out right after this. Stay with us. We'll be back with more of the Moment of Truth right after this. Coming up, Lauren Cleary pushes the truth too far. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? You and I okay, 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 okay. to win 500,000. Just joining us, we're about to continue with Lauren Cleary in her attempt to win $500,000. As I said before, this is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television. Quite honestly, if I had had my vote, it would not have aired. It's just him Since doing the this decision again. was made to broadcast it, I want to warn you, what you're about to see is very difficult to watch. <laughs> Mark is like, if I had my way, I would go home right now. Back to the moment of truth. I'm here with Lauren Cleary, her husband Frank. Um, Falcorn says, Jarvis, can we get validation that your chat is a safe space to talk about mental health struggles? Um, I would be careful with that just because, like, um, it's tough to open up the whole chat to that sort of discussion because it could be triggering to other people. Um, and also like, I feel weird about people putting too much stuff in a public, you know, a public, a public Twitch chat. Um, 
and also I don't want to put the responsibility on chat for like being being a therapist, but it's a safe space to ask for support. I think the chat will support, you know, support you unconditionally. Um, and, you know, it, it, if you are looking, if you need someone to discuss with, and it's a perhaps like something that where the stakes are not like extremely high, um, then perhaps you, you could find somebody to talk to in chat or whisper in chat. Um, but it's tough, it, you know, it, it's, it's, I want everyone to be safe and I want everyone to feel like they can vent about things. But when it comes to, you know, very serious stuff, I would be very like, I can't, I can't say to just put it in the chat because it could be harmful. Um, it, it, it could be harmful to, to others in chat. Um, um, and, and we're not professionals. We're not professionals. Uh, and so I, I think that like, it's, it's a tough situation. It's a tough situation, but there are people who've identified themselves in chat that you can DM if you, um, you know, uh, if you need, if you need to lend an ear, but, um, there's also uh, crisis lines that people are posting as well. So, uh, that's my piece on that. I, I, I want the chat to be an accepting, accommodating, um, space, but I do have to be mindful that like, especially when it comes to like my responsibility as a streamer and stuff, it's very tough to encourage, um, you know, sharing, uh, trauma and stuff like that in chat. I hope that makes sense. Um, I really just, I, I want, you know, if you, if you do need help, um, uh, this is maybe not the place <laughs> to, to come for that, but, um, but I think that if you do need resources and you're looking for resources, uh, or you just need to lend an ear and you, like, or you just need some unconditional support and stuff like that. If you're coming in and you're like, Hey, I'm having a bad day. Could people like, you know, send me some good vibes. We'll always do that. Um, but when it comes to specifics, I really just want to respect everyone's like mental energy and space and stuff. So I can't recommend posting that sort of stuff in chat. Um, I hope that makes sense. Uh, you know, if you have any differing opinions or anything, I, I can hear you out in whispers and such, but, uh, but thanks for being a part of the community. Two years, mom and dad, brother and sister, everybody is here relatively intact at this point. Is that fair to say? Yeah. You have $25,000, Lauren. Before the break, Lauren, I asked you, is that enough money, $25,000, or do you want to risk it to go on? And I promised you that these questions would get more personal. They were already very personal, far more personal than half the people watching the show would even endure. And I'm looking at this next tier, not later on, right now. It's going to get deep. You want to continue? He's well, even in the moment giving a disclaimer. He's like, uh, he's like, hey, <laughs> are you sure though? Because I want to go home again. He's like, can you put me back in that empty studio where I tell people that I don't want to do this and I would like to leave? Honest, I am really not concerned about the money. I just, I feel a lot better getting this, everything I need to get off my chest. So. Okay. So that means keep going. We're going to keep going. Okay. He's, unfortunately, yep. you're telling me that I do have to stay and I have to continue hosting this this show, unfortunately. What's the communication between you and your husband, Frank? Uh, we're working on it. We're working on it. Yeah, Frank? Yeah. Yeah. Question 12. Do you secretly stay in touch with any boyfriends that your husband does not know about? Uh, okay. Kira, I don't think so. I don't what do you think, think so. Frank? I think I want to hear her answer. It's just this, uh, yeah, it's kind of just this stuff. It's like more of this, I think. Uh, the answer is no. That answer is... True. Yeah. 
That's 12 fruitful. That one scared me. Yeah, Kira. <laughs> yeah. Scare you, Brian? And then, and then a, a very bit, special guest that's it, very yeah, unnecessary. Yeah, trust him. You have $25,000. You're three questions away from $100,000, and you said the money is really not the object. Think about the people, not just you, but think about the people who will hear your truth tonight. What do you want to do? Do you want question 13? Do you want question 13? Um, uh, also, I know this is a complete aside, but after this, after, or, I might watch an episode of Unsolved Mysteries, or at least start an episode of Un uh, Unsolved Mysteries about this. Uh, yeah, Austin. Uh, I decided to watch this episode. Um, I'll probably do an episode of Unsolved Mysteries after this, and then I'm going to watch more Squid Game. I watched episode two yesterday, last night, um, and it was good. It was good stuff. It was good. I'm excited for episode three. Well, they may not like the answer, but I think they'll eventually appreciate the answer. So I won number 13. Lucky number 13. <laughs> I hope so for you. <laughs> Lauren, I know that you've moved recently and you don't have as many friends as you used to have, but do you occasionally like the girls' night out? No Squid Game yeah. spoilers, by the yeah, way. Yeah. It's important to have those nights, it is. right? Do you occasionally like the girls' night out? Question 13. What's that leading to? Have you ever taken off your wedding ring to appear as if you were single? Dude, people came out strong with the booze. I don't... I mean, I feel like it's just taking off a ring. It's like you, you have a fight... You go out to grab a drink with a friend to vent, maybe. Um, and you take off your wedding ring because you're, I don't know. I, I don't think it's that big a deal. I Would it hurt me personally? I'm not married, but yeah. <laughs> um, but but still, I, I don't think it's like the end of the world. That's a good one. That. Yeah. <laughs> right in the ticker, right there. I tried to warn you. No, it's okay. Um, yes, I have. Dude, the the, the audience is so. They're, they're they're what a response this is. That answer is. Oh, cool. this is all. These are all. Uh... Offic wedding officiants in the audience. They're like, no, don't take off the ring, no! Boy. True. And then they're back to clapping when she keeps getting the money. It's in place now. That's 13 now. truthful now. answers. So I congratulate you on you being truthful. Two more to $100,000, but that is a truthful answer that um, I can't even spin to be a good answer. Frank, how do you feel about that? Maybe I'm sure she has her reasons. I'll we'll find out later. I don't know if I have this. Or they've already had a conversation about it. Stomach for the rest of these questions. <laughs> You're making it worse on us. <laughs> I'm being as honest as I know how to be. Uh... I look at the question, I don't know you guys before we meet here. And this is a doozy. Stop me before I ask the question if you don't want to answer it. No, Hit the button if you don't want to hear the answer. I kind of believe that even though the couple had maybe discussed some stuff beforehand, I don't think that Mark Wahlberg knows. Mark L. Wahlberg, I'm sorry. And so he really is like, why is this continuing? What what is what am I a part of? Sir? So uh, I'll just ask you this before we get into the question. Did you and your husband have a nice honeymoon? <laughs> Nice. Frank? Yeah, we had a good time. We enjoyed ourselves. Question Bow. 14. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Oh, See, the smiling, the smiling is what I feel like gives it away for me that she's like, ah, this question. Uh, Stachio Cat, thank you for the gift. So uh, I'll just ask you this before we get into the question. Did you and your husband have a nice honeymoon? <laughs> that was nice. Frank? Yeah, we had a good time. We enjoyed ourselves. Question 14. 
Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, see, she's like playing it up for the camera. <laughs> Sorry, I laughed directly into the mic. The mom's face frowning was so funny. Like, she's playing it up. It's very clearly like a, should be a heavy question. This mom face. <laughs> yes, I believe I was. That answer is true. So that's 14 truthful answers. One more, you win $100,000, but I'm sure I'm not the only one watching this program wondering if that $100,000 is worth it given what we're doing. But it's your world, your relationship, your choices. Frank, were you aware that she had those feelings on your wedding day? Uh, no, I knew that she did have feelings for no, oh, maybe she was saying that the uh, the button should be pushed. And everybody. Uh, no, I knew that she did have feelings for, you know, ex boyfriends and everybody does. I didn't know that she might have been in love with them. And so maybe that's an allusion to them having a conversation beforehand, right? Like, oh, I didn't know. I knew it was feelings, but I didn't know it was love. Like that feels like a genuine moment. I don't know. I'm just I'm just spitballing here. That she might have been in love with them. Lauren, one more question gets you $100,000. Yeah, the other thing about this uh, gift, or sorry, the other thing about this, um, the winnings is that it's like taxed with like the heaviest tax where it's like the gift tax, I think, where it's like 60, a 60% 60 tax or something like that of the thing. So you win 100K, you get 40K, which, you know, uh, it's it's a big, it's a big... It's a, it's a significantly different amount of money. Unless you tell me to stop. I believe so, actually. Somebody can correct me on that. I mean, it's still good. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying the gift tax is like one of the biggest. It's like, meanwhile, if you, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Don't get me wrong. 40K is still life changing amount. But we're it, like, um, you know, we were watching the, the episode uh, where they were talking about. Um, where like med school and stuff like that. And it's just like, this doesn't go as far towards med school as like people are making it out to be, or this doesn't go as far towards like your house pay payment that you they make it out to be. Um, yeah, it's like, it's a significant amount of money, but I'm just, I'm just saying that it's 60% of the, and then yeah, why aren't the billionaires paying that? That's like, that's the thing. It's like, and meanwhile, you know, if you're super rich, you can avoid taxes. I can't talk you into stopping that. <laughs> No, I'm ready for number 15. Oprah discovered that when giving out cars for the first time. Yeah. There's just so, you just incur su such a tax burden. All right. I, um, I don't think you really are ready for number 15, but if you want it, I'm going to give it to you. Google says 18 to 40%. Am I wrong? Okay, so maybe it is 18% to 40%. Maybe it's 40 and not 60. I don't know what what is what it, what defines the depending on how far Hang on. Oh, cumulative gifts. Now I'm reading about the gift tax to correct myself. Um Oh, wait. Um, do game show winners pay? Oh, okay. 
All winnings on game shows are considered ordinary income taxed up to 37%. So it'll probably just be taxed uh, as ordinary income. Uh, so it's not so bad. I mean, it is it is so bad, but it's ordinary income. So it's the expected amount. But people don't think about the tax. People don't think about tax when they think about stuff like this. Okay. But the other thing worth considering is it, it puts you in a different uh, tax bracket in a lot of situations, right? So now you're like, um, so now you're, uh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, it's, if it's taxes, re, re, uh, ordinary income, and you were making 40K a year, and now you made 140K, you're in a completely different tax bracket. Okay. You're making this worse than it is. <laughs> I don't think I can make this worse than it is. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. And this question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise. The one that's 60% is death tax when getting inheritance. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Surprise guest. Oh my. Lauren? I want to watch this back to see if the, uh, the reactions feel genuine. Because... Because I, I kind of feel like her, oh, my God. I mean, obviously, like, you could say people's reactions are going to be different, blah, blah, blah. We know that a lot of this was – this was uh, they were aware of it. You know what I mean? And so um, and so I, I, I'm not usually I'm – I'm just extra looking to see if they're, like, playing it up because of that. Oh, my – Lauren? It's like everybody's smiling and being like, wow. You know, it's inter it's like it, it almost feels like I, I, I feel like I'd probably lose my cool. Can you tell everybody who this is? Or do I need to do it? I I can't speak right now, so This is your ex boyfriend Frank. I feel like it, this just turned into like a Maury episode. Hello, Frank. How you doing? Hard to say. People act odd on camera. I just, it's, but I'm just going off of the fact that we know that they, I mean, I don't want to spoil the episode, but like these, these people played it up. These are the people who like, it became this huge viral thing. And then it came out that they like played a lot of it up. So that's why I'm looking into it. Frank has a question for you. <clears throat> and I hope this $100,000, if you win it, is worth this question. If you don't want the answer, you still have the button. I don't need to remind you. This question is for $100,000. When you're ready, question 15. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're both named Frank. No, I'm ready for a number 15. Thank you, Betty Davis. All right. I, um, I don't think you really are ready for number 15, but if you want it, I'm going to give it to you. Okay? You're making this worse than it is. <laughs> I don't think I can make this worse than it is. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. And this question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise. Wait, wait, did they just back up and do the same thing again? No. This is your ex boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> Question for you. <clears throat> <laughs> and I hope this $100,000, if you it's win so it, is worth this question. Music. If you don't want the thousand together with you. Hold on. That question is a devastating question. Of course. You could avoid this right now by hitting the button, Frank. No? no? Okay. Hold on 
a second. Audience, I know that this is entertaining to watch, but this is real. Frank wanted to hear the answer to this question. Monica, why did you hit the button? I don't want to hear that answer. I don't think anyone will want to hear that answer. Oh my God, the audience is like, no, we wanted to hear the answer actually. <laughs> okay, I have, I have a question to replace that with. Before I do that, my question to you, Lauren, is, did she just save you or cost you $100,000? Sure, I don't know. <laughs> One of the things that you know if you watch the program is that I will replace the question, but I can't guarantee that that question is going to be any easier. Here's another question that your ex-boyfriend, Frank, will ask in place. So, so, so I've given Frank an alternate question. It replaces the one that Monica stopped. If you... Someone, people are saying that she gave a symbol or she gave a, a sign to her, her sister. Let's look. We're at 3545. Tending to watch, but my devastating question. Hold on. That question is a devastating question. Of course. You could avoid this right now by hitting the button, Frank. She did the she did the ear thing. Do you think that's a sign? Do we think that's a sign? Devastating question. Of course. You could avoid do we think this is a Avoid sign? this right now by hitting the button, Frank. Did she do that at any other point? Maybe she did. No. no? Okay. Why? The answer to this might just be nerves. Oh, so all of the behavior. We're we're just we're just go we're just. I under every literally everything that happens in this show could be explained by nerves. Or the fact that they're on a TV show or or whatever. We're just speculating because we know they faked. Okay, I'll just say it. For her and Frank are still together. That's the thing. They came out after the show aired and they were like, we conspired. We already knew the, like, they, we already knew the stuff. So it's like, um, yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying. I'm like, the only reason I'm trying to fig get to the bottom of this is because they've already came out and said that they like kind of lied about the show. Um, Question. And so that's why her and this Frank, her, her and this Frank that everybody was just like, um, everybody was like, Oh, they're ruining their relationship. It's like, no, 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 we're still together. And so like, that's why I was just trying to see if there was any signs chat. That's, a, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to see if there's any signs. I'm just, we're just, we're just speculating. Mm -hmm. Monica, why did you hit the button? I don't want to hear that answer. I don't think anyone will want to hear that answer. Here, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Frank and moment of truth, Frank Lauren. Um, was it all for the money? Access. Uh, this is days after this aired. Um... What's the word? They look at the the reaction shots and and they match them up and they like don't align. So they um are just using reaction shots from different from different points in the show to make it seem more dramatic. So you don't actually see certain. Yeah, I mean we're we have only have like a little bit left in the show, but I I wanted to explain why I was trying to figure out what was going on. Like, <laughs> okay. I have, I have a question to replace that with. Before I do that, my question to you, Lauren, is, did she just save you or cost you $100,000? Sure, I don't know. <laughs> One of the things that you know if you watch the program is that I will replace the question, but I can't guarantee that that question's gonna be any easier. Here's another question. I was just, that your ex I was just speculating. It's just a third, it's like a super old show. Let me speculate. Boyfriend Frank will ask in place. <laughs> I've given Frank an alternate question. It replaces the one that Monica stopped. If you are truthful, it'll be worth $100,000. And I hope, Warren, that that is a, a gamble that's worth it for you. So, ex-boyfriend Frank, once again, question 15. <clears throat> 
do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? Well, <laughs> wow. Um, um, I want to be honest and say yes. <laughs> Is true. I'm not sure what to say. You've answered 15 questions truthfully. You've won $100,000. Uh, first of all, Frank, is there anything you want Thank to say? Thank you, Bumby this? Bean. No, there's, there's really nothing else I can really hear. So, Thank you, Jay Flo. Might as well just go for it. Wait, Have someone in the audience said off rank no? Wait. Might as well just go $100,000. Questions, truth. Okay, sorry. Too many things are happening. Thank you for the bits, Casey. I'm not sure what to say. Oh my god. Every. Can every. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the gifted. I just want to listen to the. True. Okay, wait. Are people just subscribing now so I can't hear what's going on in the show? I'm not sure what to say. You've answered 15 questions truthfully. You've won $100,000. Uh, first of all, Frank, is there anything you want to say at this point? No, there's, there's really nothing else I can really hear. So, might as well just go for it. Have you guys talked about this ex-boyfriend at all? Yeah, earlier on in our marriage, but I mean, I didn't know he was still an issue. I mean, with an answer like that, I can only uh, assume that you're, you're not happy. Are you unhappy? Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, this is very sad. Warren, <laughs> what do we do here? The oh, Frank knows when she answered. Okay, so we're at 37, uh, 35. Shit. True. Um, want to be honest and say yes. That answer is... I didn't hear the Frank no. Is that when it happened? Is that did it just happen? I just didn't hear it. Okay. Be honest and say yes. That answer is I heard come on Frank. True. I heard come on, Frank. I'm not sure what to say. You've or answered like that. 15 questions truthfully. You've won $100,000. Uh, first of all, Frank, all right, I'll turn back is there on anything the, you want to um, say at this point? Alerts. No, there's, there's really nothing else I can really hear. So, might as well just go for it. Yeah, we're basically there anyway. Have you guys talked about this ex-boyfriend at all? Yeah, earlier on in our marriage, but I mean... I didn't know he was still an issue. I mean, with an answer like that, I can only uh, assume that you're you're not happy. Are you unhappy? Are you unhappy? Sometimes. Dude, that's... Sometimes. I mean, yeah, me too, Warren, Frank. What do we do here? Thank you, Zoe the Hobbit, or Zoe this the Hobbit. This is, uh... Warren, what else is there? You know what I mean? Just go for it. This is a little bigger than the game right now. So you have $100,000, okay? You leave here with $100,000 right now, and you go home with your husband, Frank, and you have to now figure out this where This is my favorite part of the show. It's where Mark L. Wahlberg uh, tries to convince the people to leave the show. <laughs> He's like, you have the money. 
go away. So like use this money, maybe hire someone to help you work through these problems that we've now uncovered. Um, are you sure you want to keep going? Do I? Please just take the money. I'm not paid based on how much money you win. I trust me. I'm, I don't care if you leave or not. Just go. I would tell her to go. What else is there to tell me? What else, what else is there to really tell me? What? Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. You certainly aren't going to keep you here. If you've had enough, you can take $100,000 and leave. And, but questions? Frank makes a very good point. After this bomb that's been dropped. Gabby Frost, thank you for the prime. What else is there? You know, I don't. You know the questions. What else is there? Oh, the other thing I remember is in Mark L. Wahlberg's interview with Cody, uh, he said that like these people were like hugging afterwards, I think. Or like people were like asking him for if they asked him for a photo afterward. So what do you want to do? You want to leave with hundred thousand dollars? And he was like, wait, I thought that was all just like a super emotional thing. Well, three more questions get you two hundred thousand dollars. Three more questions. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Five for the crown. Thank you, Agnes, for the crown. Line. Line. We're going. They asked him for a picture after with the ex-boyfriend. Yeah, so that's what that's why it made me feel like it was a little bit, you know, hokey. There was something a little a little sussy about it. Her and the two Franks asked for a photo. Yeah, that's what I mean. Not that you can't ask for a photo, but I just it just feels odd, right? Am I I mean chat's probably gonna be like, no, I mean it's perfectly normal to like ruin your marriage and then ask for a uh, ask for a photo with the other man. You got this point, the hard questions, you can go now. All the rest you only of need three easy. questions to win $200,000, but as you know, you only have to mess up once to lose everything. Mom, what do you say for like, please I leave, say, just go. Mom, leave it now. I know. Mom would say that. I, I'm going to keep on going because... I will let you know that the questions I've already asked you, a couple of them, are way over my line. This one's further than that. No. You probably know what's coming next. I think so. And you want it anyway. Question 16. Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? Oh, no, poor Frank is like, this isn't fun anymore. Can we please just quit it? I wish the button was still there. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> Why does your sister look like an SNL character? Oh, gosh, guys. This is uh, this seems like a quite the predicament we've got ourselves in. We should probably we should probably wrap this up and go. Oh God! Oh jeez! I'm gonna have to say yes. That answer is true. Okay. Well so like after this, the two Franks and Lauren take a photo. That's what's. I got the mama. Two more gets you $200,000. But be careful. One mistake, you lose it all. Are you feeling like you should go for it now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Question 17 Do you think you're a good person? I think I am a good person. So your answer is? Yes. Thank you for the bits, Mackie. That answer is... It's true. It's true. False. 
the literal only time she wasn't like smiling for the, the questions. And this is the same shot of him hanging his head from before. Lauren, I am so, so sorry. Why do you think this came up as a lie for you when I asked you if you think you're a good person? Because even after... Wait, now I'm... Wait, we got it. Let's do some science. <laughs> Honestly, I think I am a good person. So your oh, answer is? Yes. All right, well... Answer is... Well, let me just... False. <laughs> Okay, so let's just put this over here. Question 17. True. By the way, Frank uh, already knew about everything and is upset because they agreed to split the money. See, I heard this too, but I couldn't find the source. Eh? 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 Would you look at that? Well, would you look at that? I think we've got ourselves some reused reaction shots. Detective Jarvis is on the case. Um. <laughs> okay. I should say that. Wait, what does it matter that they use, reuse B-roll? Well, the whole thing is about Frank's reactions. So if they can't cut to a real Frank reaction during the biggest moment reveal of the show, or if they cut to the same Frank reaction during the, the second like most salacious moment of the show, then what happened in that moment? You know, it, it it's either like, he didn't have the reaction that they expected him to have. Oh, wait, sorry, that makes sense. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I'm, I was like about to go into my like Phoenix Wright mode. Um, Lauren, I am so, so sorry. Why do you think this came up as a lie for you when I asked you if you think you're a good person? Because even after everything that I have, done stealing the money and everything i think that i've become a better person that's why i think i am a good person yet it came up as a lie which means that somewhere in you you haven't forgiven yourself <laughs> it's, i love that i love that mark is like well it came up as a lie so you actually still suck unfortunately mm -hmm. and it, look it's not my words it's the lie detector somewhere your truth is that you don't think you're a good person at all why don't you go or it's a false negative. Go up, hang out with your you know, because lie detectors. Family, and I thank you very much, Lauren, for being on the show. I wish you the best. I honestly believe that's... I, wait, I live for the, the, the liminal space for, <laughs> with, where the, uh, it cuts to Mark and he hasn't spoken yet. Wait, let's go. This is, this is, uh, this, this moment. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is, oh my God. Why is this interesting to me? I honestly believe that some truths are better left unsaid. Hopefully, Lauren and her family can make peace with what happened here tonight. I, I wish them all the very best. See you next time on The Moment of Truth. Okay, so now let's watch... Um...